Hey there, engineers. Hi. Today, we're gonna use some things that we had lying around the house to make some fun little cars. So, if you're gonna do this along with us, you are gonna need um, a milk carton, empty and clean. I've punched some holes in it that are big enough to fit some straws that are gonna help our car axles turn smoothly. You'll need two of those. I have some skewers, wooden skewers, that we're gonna use as the car's axle. And we have four wheels that we cut out of an old Amazon box. I just used a soup can to make a little impression and then cut around so that my wheels are all the same shape and size. And I punched a little hole in them that we're gonna fit our axles through. So the first thing that you need to do is take your axles and put them through the straws. So can, can you I do, do that? that? Yep, you yeah. can do that. All right, take your axles. Oh, it's wet there. Yeah, it's a little water from the clean milk jugs. All right, good, just like that, that's right. And then do the other one. You'll see why it works. Oh, while the boys are doing that, you're also gonna need a hot glue gun to help hold everything together. All right. I'm a little so, afraid of hot glue. That's okay, I'll help you. So our next step is Baby, gonna be to slide our axles with their straws all the way through from one side to the other of the milk jug and make sure that your straws are sticking out right there. You wanna try that other one and I'll help. I'm afraid of fun. You, you boys and girls at home might need a parent to just kind of help you guide these sticks all the way through. Be very gentle if you can't get it, um, I'll help you. All right, you wanna start that next one and I'll help Eli? Yeah. Can't do it. Yep, it's a little tough to get it lined up just so. There we go. Be careful there. Okay, and then I'll help. Oh, it's okay. You had it. Why do you use soup cans? All right. Why do you use them? So that all the wheels would be the same size. Sorry. All right. So our next step is going to be to push our wheels on. So we're gonna be very gentle. Again, we don't wanna break our skewers. We're gonna push all four wheels on. There's, honey, the hot glue gun's down here. There's nothing to hurt you. Okay, push your wheels on. I'm not making you touch the hot glue. I won't make you touch it. That looks cool. Yeah. Super fun, come on. I have three wheels on it. Whoops, 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 whoops. I'll hold it steady. Milk carton, milk carton, come back. All right. Now, our next step, and I will do this for you, Reese, is to just secure, is just secure the wheels with a little hot glue so it's not so wobbly. There. So I'm gonna put oh, some hot on. glue all the way around the outside. And we're gonna let these dry. In fact, I think I'm gonna let this dry upside down. I'm not coming out. You don't have to come out for the hot glue part, sweetie. Whoops, I burned myself. <laughs> I'm fine. It's okay. I didn't feel. It just stung a little bit. I'm okay. <laughs> I saw some hot glue. Is there a hot glue? Right, I'm just gonna squeeze all the way around. The outside it's probably dried hot glue. Mm. Okay, that's why mommy. Mom, can we, we can we roll this? We have to let them dry first. So once you've glued all your wheels on and it's dry, they're ready to test out. We'll be back in a little while to show you how our tests go. See you soon. Bye. On your mark. Get set. Go. Awesome, Reese's turn. On your mark, get set, go. 